sales page and the course wasn't written. Um, I'd always wanted to sell an e-course because everyone's doing it right. Um, in, my, in my industry being uh, people that have a cake business, it's relatively new. Not many people have heard of even an e-course. I don't know what it is. Um, so I wasn't sure if it was sellable, where it being people would buy it. Um, so I wanted to sell I wanted to somehow gauge that the consumer, the customer, the target market would purchase it without going and creating the whole course itself. So I didn't want to go to the expense either of um, updating the website and doing a sales page and having the buy now button and, and connecting that all in with PayPal and Infusionsoft, etc. I had to pay a VA to do that, but I didn't want to go to that expense either. So at the time, I just heard about this idea from AppSumo called validating an idea, being if you have an idea of something to sell, go out and ask for the sale before it's created, before you figure out the details, before anything, just literally just go ask for the sale and not just ask people to put their hand up and say, yes, I'm interested because everyone will do that, but literally the exchange of energy money in your bank account, they transfer it via PayPal or bank transfer. And I really love this idea. That, I mean, that you, you cannot get any better gauge of market or, or gauge of something sellable or not by literally just asking for it and selling it. So kind of like pre-ordering, if you want to think of it that way. So I'm like, that's brilliant. I'm going to do that. Because the e-course, it wasn't written. Don't get me wrong. It was in my head. I'd sold it as a franchise. I had it in folders all over the place. The information was there. I just had to do it in the structure that I wanted it for the course being 30 emails over 30 days, step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up a cake business. So I decided to ask for the sale first. I had an email list at that time about probably less than 1,500. Um, and I decided to put a start date on it. Being, you know, this is when you can sign up and this is when it starts and that's the cutoff date. So I sent out five emails over the course of 10 days, I think, a week and a half, nearly two weeks. Uh, I was selling the e-course for uh, $57. That was the early bird bonus, or early bird price, I should say. And over that 10 days, and with those five emails, I had 38 people sign up. And when I say sign up, pay for the course. So. That is how I know, that is how I knew then that it was sellable, people would pay for it, um, and that I could create it knowing that you know it's going to make money as well. So that's what I did. I had those 38 people sign up, had a couple of um, last minute ones show up as well, so that's how I made $3,000 altogether. I hadn't written the course, so the day before day one was due to be emailed out. I wrote day one of that course and I did that every day um, for that 30 days. But it did a couple of things. It validated my idea that the course was sellable and money in the bank. I um, got it done. I got that e-course done after that first round. I got feedback and testimonials at the end so I improved it for the second round. Um, it has so many benefits of validating idea, meaning sell it before you've created it to know it's a sellable product. Um, and I really, really enjoy that experience. I now do everything that, well, virtually everything that way. I validate the idea first and sell it before I've created it. Um, and I create it on the fly, but it, it makes it get done. It doesn't make it any less valuable, any less good content. It probably makes it better in all honesty because you've already got that exchange of energy because you know it's sellable. You've got you no, know, you've got people at the end of an email or at the end of that course who who need that information, who you can help. So that is the story of the first e-course that I created. It's now I think two years later. I've done eight rounds of this e-course and made over. I think at last count about twelve thousand dollars all up because I've changed the price price points a couple of times. Um, yeah, and it's a really fun experience. I thrive off validating idea. I thrive off selling before I've created it, um, and it makes me get shit done. <laughs> so, have you ever done that? Have you ever sold before you created? I'd love to hear from you.